Check one, two, one, two, one, two. And now, where indie music comes alive. Broadcasting live worldwide, plus on demand 24 7, and hosted by Hall of Fame personality Dave Pratt. 10, 9, 8, 7. The World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Breaking the sound barrier with your top 10 weekly from worldmusicstage.com. And now, house lights down. Music up. Now entering the World Music Stage. Your host for the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, Dave Pratt. Oh, I got my headphones on. I'm ready for some great music today. Got four big interviews today. And we are in November. So this is our sixth month of the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Welcome! We count down the Top 10 every Saturday, and now we are heard on nearly 200 radio affiliates throughout the world. And of course, we are heard on worldmusicstage.com and on the internet worldwide and on demand through Star Worldwide Networks. Listen at a time that's convenient for you. We are all about indie music, the artists and the fans who support indie music and now let's get started world music stage radio top 10 countdown song number 10 i love this name famous by monday (laughs) isn't that the dream of most (laughs) famous by monday on a dare the lead vocalist of famous by monday auditioned for the voice Yeah, the television show, The Voice. And although the outcome wasn't what he had hoped for, it did inspire him to pursue a singing career. Lead vocalist Mike is not a trained vocalist and somewhat new to the music industry, and he realized that he needed to work with someone who had this type of knowledge. Well, after a lot of thought, he remembered his cousin. Yeah, his cousin had a musical background with family, friends, lots of work, and diligence Famous by Monday is ready to roll. Kicking us off this week at number 10 on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown from New Jersey. Famous by Monday, Young at Heart.
famous by Monday. Mike caught me off guard there with the female vocalist coming in. I didn't expect that. Good stuff. Famous by Monday. Young at Heart kicks us off. And now we move to number nine. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number nine. San Antonio, Texas. Born from the urban center of San Antonio, Texas. Soul Tribe sound embodies a blend of reggae club and alternative. Now, Soul Tribe has growing a grassroots movement with constant touring across most of the states recorded on the road radio waves for better days reflects the energy of a guerrilla touring band they earn it at number nine on the world music stage radio top 10 countdown from the alamo city of san antonio off the album radio waves for better days soul tribe call the doctor to 
Now, that's good marketing because they got their name in the song. Did you hear that? Soul Tribe? It's kind of like Shakira Shakira in her own song. See, it's good marketing there. Soul Tribe knows what they're doing. All right, we move on to number eight. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number eight. The James Thomas Band. James Thomas met his bandmates while working at a recording studio where all three members of the band worked. The band is now recording their next album, Eight Seconds Before Midnight. Let's check it out at number eight on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown from Meadows of Dan, Virginia. Meadows of Dan, Virginia. Now, I'm just assuming that's on the Dan River, right, which is western Virginia, kind of there by Kentucky and Tennessee and North Carolina. Not that I'm a geography expert. I'm just assuming that that's where it is. Meadows of Dan, Virginia. And from the new album, Eight Seconds Before Midnight, this is the James Thomas Band, Suicide Blues.
got some bad guitar in there, doesn't it? Towards the end, the James Thomas Band at number eight. And we move on with the countdown. World Music Stage Radio. Top ten countdown. Song number seven. So the name of this group is Two Out of Three. Two Out of Three. Cody and Kyle Mead are twin brothers. Yeah, they're a duo from Herkimer, New York, which is upstate New York between Syracuse and Albany. The brothers sing and write their own music, singing and writing since they were little kids. I mean, they started singing at like four years old and writing at 12. So they've been doing this literally their whole life. And now they hit our worldwide countdown. At number seven on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown from Upstate NY, off their album How Much More, two out of three, Cold Outside. Got it together. Two out of three, cold outside. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 countdown. Song number six. Well, let's switch gears here, huh? Revival is a four piece melodic metal hard rock band from Manchester, UK. They bring it. Their trademark sound blends the pace and fill of classic 80s metal with today's metal. At number six on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, from the UK, off their album Your Demise, Revival and Your Demise.
And that brings us to the top five. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number five. So these guys were formed four years ago. Last Kick is an original blues-based hard rock band from Halifax, Nova Scotia. Beautiful. So, born from influences like Black Sabbath, the Deep Purple, and Motley Crue later, Last Kick brings to life a solid mix between southern rock and, and blistering blues to create a unique sound. And from Last Kick, joining us on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, from Last Kick, Maxwell. Hi, Maxwell. Hey, man. How you doing? Well, I'm doing great. I understand you just got off stage, right? Yeah, yeah, I just uh, did a little uh, acoustic show at a uh, little town in Savannah, which is uh, a little Cuban bar here in uh, Halifax. Well, a Cuban we, bar uh, in we, Halifax, there you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, they sell a uh, little Cuban Cuban cigars and uh, drinks and all that. It's, uh, it's a pretty cool show, man. Well, how's, the, how's the weather in uh, Arizona? It is gorgeous and nothing but blue skies. How about that? Oh, yeah. I wish I could see the same for the <laughs> Halifax, Nova Scotia, but it, it ain't quite like that, man. It's more like, a, you know, you know, gray, gray weather. I think the U.K., only in Canada. You know what, though, Maxwell? Honestly, I've always wanted to visit Halifax. It's one of the truly beautiful places. It is. It is cool. We, we have a, quite a, you know, the eastern shore. We got all the uh, sail ships to come in during the summertime and, you know, it's uh, it's one of the biggest ports in the, in the world. You know, one of the the fifth biggest ports in the world, wow. and we get cruise ships coming in, and uh, it's yeah, we you know got a lot of tourists coming here. Well, you're going to make it famous because it will be known soon as the home of Last Kick. Tell us more about Last Kick, Maxwell. Last Kick, man. It's uh, Last Kick is kind of like. My whole rock and roll uh, vision of just whatever I write, really, just, you know, like uh, the whole Black Sabbath and everything like that. Basically, it's, it, it is whatever I listened to and grown up on is what I write. Yeah, what is it about Black Sabbath and Deep Purple and that era of metal that really hooked you? I, th- I think it's the the roots of the, the simplicity of that that music that just you know it, it gets everybody grooving and it's been around for so long it's just ingrained in everybody's brain that just it, you know it's so easily connected that when when we do those those licks you know like people just people connect with them. You know, it's just, you know, the pioneers of metal is just uh, just around and people just, you know, you can't help but, you know, get attention from that. Well, you are in the top five of our worldwide countdown today. Tell us about your song. Yeah, congratulations. Tell us about your song, Gasoline. Gasoline, man. Uh, Gasoline is actually more of a punk riff, man. But uh, I wrote like, oh man, more than ten years ago, and it's just, uh, just a fast, you know, fast and edgy song, and it's just about wrecking shit up, man. It's yeah, it's just a high energy song that sometimes we like to come out and just open up with gasoline and just just knock people in the face, you know. Well, at number five on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown from Halifax, Nova Scotia, but with a nice bunch of Cuban cigars by now. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is Last and, Kick. And, and, and Cuban rum, man. And Cuban rum. <laughs> this is gasoline.
Wow. You know, in over 35 years of radio, that may have been my first interview from Halifax. I don't think I've ever had one from there, and that was a good one. Last kick. We move on to number four. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number four. Oh, you're going to like this lady. May Tatro is a native of Daytona Beach, Port Orange, Florida, But she isn't your typical girl from the beach. No, instead, May prefers spending her days playing her guitar and ukulele or working on her piano. She loves writing music while expanding her set list of covers. And joining us on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, May Tatro. Hi, May. Hi. Well, you are busy and you're doing it all. What did you learn to play first, guitar or ukulele? Guitar. Okay. And then did ukulele come easy? Yeah, ukulele came really easy after I learned guitar. Yeah, you know, you don't hear a lot of artists talking about playing ukulele. So does that just kind of fit in with your sound? Yeah, I was doing kind of indie music, and I knew a bunch of bigger artists that had some songs with the ukulele, and I was like, hey, that sounds fun, why not? Yeah, you know, May, as you continue in your career and as you continue to elevate, roadies are going to love you because ukuleles are really easy to carry around. <laughs> That's what mom says. <laughs> you're going to become so successful, May, that you're going to have a semi-truck just for your ukulele. <laughs> I would love to see that. <laughs> hey, along with your originals, what are your favorite cover songs? Some of my favorite cover songs, uh, I like doing Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls. That's one of my favorite. Mm-hmm. And then there's one called uh, Coffee and Cigarettes. It's by a band called Never Shout Never. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Zombie by the Cranberries is always really fun. Oh, I love the Cranberries. You know, we were joking about the ukulele. May I just have to share this with you? A couple years ago, I brought on Kenny G uh, here at the State Fair. And I'm not kidding you. They pulled in backstage with all these semi-trucks, and I said, guys, <laughs> he basically <laughs> could just carry his instruments with him. What are all the semis for? <laughs> so it's, uh, you know, it's what you can look forward to. Tell us more about May Tatro. Um, well, I've been doing music for a couple of years now. I started really getting into music when I was about nine or ten, I joined a dance crew, and uh, it really kind of sparked my interest for it. But I, my grandfather taught me how to play, play guitar the first time when I was about five. So I've just kind of been doing it ever since, and it's been just getting more and more busy and more and more intense over the years. And tell us about your song on our countdown this week called In a Box. Oh, yeah, my single. That's I I like talking about this one because it started out as kind of a a funny story of how I started writing it. Uh, Me and my mom were riding in a car, and she was trying to pick out what genre I was in. I was like, gosh, Mom, don't put me in a box. And I don't know what happened from there on. It just kind of happened. You know, that really fits you, May, because I opened this up by saying you're not that typical beach girl from Daytona, so nobody can put you in a box. Yeah, yeah. Let's check this out at number four on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown from Florida, May Tatro, and In a Box. Can't you see I'm tired of trying and begging you please, can't you see I've been wanting to break free, but all that I Let me run away from you Don't put me in a box 
Boy, she's got it together, huh? May Tatro. It's good to talk to her as well. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number three. We are in the top three. That's right. From the UK and blessed with a talent for music, Vivian Neville spent much of her childhood practicing the piano and went on to study music at Oxford Brooks University. She's also blessed with a beautiful voice and a gift for writing songs that combine Celtic music with contemporary sounds. She tours in the UK, Ireland, hey, and now in the USA. At number three on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, from the UK off the album Veiled in Mystery, Vivian Neville, A Celtic Saint's Prayer. that beautiful see that's what i love about this countdown we get everything from celtic music to alternative we've had blues we've had hard rock and oh you're gonna like this one at number two world music stage radio top 10 countdown song number two so kendall rucks r-u-c-k-s remember that name because she's going somewhere kendall rucks may be only 17 years old but Her mature vocals and poetic lyrics make this old soul an up-and-comer to watch. Originally from Florida, at 13, Kendall was invited by her vocal coach and music mentor 
to visit Los Angeles and to meet advisors in the entertainment industry. Now, there's no turning back. Kendall is now tearing it up with several projects in the works, and she's on our World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown Hotline. Hi, Kendall. Hi, how are you? <laughs> you are doing fantastic. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, are you in Burbank right now? I am in Burbank. Yeah. I'm at my house. <laughs> oh, really? You know what? I'm in Burbank every week. When are you going to buy me lunch, Kendall? We should head downtown. I, are you are you close to the airport? I fly into the airport every week there at Burbank. Really? Yeah, I'm not too far away. All right. <laughs> we so, need to get together. All right. So we have a date. <laughs> You're ready. At such a young age, what, what was the move from your home in Florida to California like? Um, gosh, it was it was pretty crazy, but I mean it was my mom's always wanted to She's always loved art. She's always wanted to pursue it, and my dad as well. So we kind of just took took a leap of faith and trusted, and we were in great hands, and we are in great hands. So we kind of just trusted the process, and it's been fantastic. Ah, you trust your parents. Good girl. Yeah, because at 13, <laughs> I mean, for a young girl, you're just starting to get into the whole social deal. So to move oh, from yeah. one coast to another, that's a big deal. Oh, yeah. No, I, I don't have... I don't have many, <laughs> many friends. It's, it's pretty, um, but it's not bad. Like I've gotten used to it, but in the beginning it was a little, a little rough adjusting to that, adjusting from a, like a hometown where I had so many friends to a new place where I didn't know anybody, but, um, but it's all good. It's all good. It's fun. <laughs> Kendall, you will be amazed at what fame will do for you. You will have more friends than you can ever imagine. <laughs> 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 hey, on our countdown this week, tell us about your song, Clementine. Yeah, my song, Clementine. Um, I love it. it. It's one of my, it's such a sweet song to me, and it's about somebody that I love very deeply, first love situation, and um, it means a lot. The lyrics are pretty literal, too. It sounds like it's from, like, the 1920s, but it's actually pretty literal to what was happening in my life at the time so well we're yeah. gonna we're, we're gonna listen to clementine and you are gonna buy me lunch soon okay <laughs> i totally will i will <laughs> at number two on the world music stage radio top 10 countdown kendall rux clementine
I think it's safe to say that Kendall's going to have a lot of friends really soon. Boy, can she sing. She's 17 years old. Is that the same young girl that I just talked to? And then she brings out a voice of a young woman. That's the fun part of this countdown. And we move on to number one. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 countdown. Song number one. Jamie Sellers, her love of music pulls out a ride of exploration and inner journey that's remarkable. She loves lyrics that makes you think. She's in Nashville and getting ready to work with Rebel Room Records. Jamie is also with us on the countdown this week. Hi, Jamie. Hey, how's it going? Well, I'm doing great. Nashville was crazy this week with all the CMA Awards stuff, huh? Right, totally. <laughs> Super yeah. cool, though. Yeah, tell us about Nashville and living there. Are you enjoying it? Totally. I mean, it's just it's awesome. There's not only country music here, so that was something that was surprising when I first moved here about five years ago to find out that it's just full of amazing artists that are beyond country. So, yeah, pretty and, cool. And you know what, Jamie? A lot of people don't realize this. My first time in Nashville, I ran into... Bon Jovi, uh, Richard Marks, Brett Michaels, Lars Ulrich from Metallica. And sometimes wow. sometimes Nashville gets stereotyped and pigeonholed into just being country. Now, country's huge in Nashville, but it really does. And I'm glad you brought that up, Jamie. Nashville carries some of the greatest recording studios in the world in all types of music, doesn't it? Totally. Completely. It's just amazing. Like I said, just such versatility and just amazing artists popping out everywhere, just new stuff all the time, and it's great. I love it. Speaking (laughs) of new artists, talk to us more about Jamie Sellers. I hear she's pretty good. (laughs) Thank you. I like to try to believe in myself. uh, That's exactly what my song that you're going to be listening to is all about. Um, When I was writing it, I actually had this uh, vision in mind of, two parts of myself and one was the artist side who is very confident and you know can perform and get out in front of people and then the other side who may have second guessing and you know not so confident about herself at some times and I just decided you know I'm gonna write this song basically about you know coming into myself and loving myself enough to put my music forward and hope that Others can be inspired to love themselves as well and enjoy what, you know, I have to say and have a good time with it. Yeah, I mentioned that you write from an explorative type of inner journey. This song, I Know Rough, it sounds from your description, it's almost therapeutic. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of the, the thing with it I'm hoping to go for is just, like I said, believe in yourself and have confidence and just get out there and do it. Do your thing, you know? At number one on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, from Music City, Nash, Vegas, Jamie Sellers, I Know Rough.
Jamie Sellers at number one on the countdown this week. And I know rough. I mentioned Nash Vegas. In Nashville, the crazy circus known as Nashville, that's what they call it now, Nash Vegas. And there we are, this week's top 10 in the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, heard every week right here on Star Worldwide Networks. Now this week, go to worldmusicstage.com to hear the greatest indie music in the world and to support your favorite indie artists. All of these artists are on worldmusicstage.com. Thanks for joining us every week for the best in indie music around the world, the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. I'm Dave Pratt, and hey, if you don't deserve it, who does? Thanks for listening to the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Breaking the sound barrier with your top 10 weekly from worldmusicstage.com. Join us where indie music comes alive at worldmusicstage.com. That's worldmusicstage.com.